In this video, I'm going to show you three ways to view your funnels within Google Analytics. All and more coming up right after this. All right, today our journey starts at the demo account of Google Analytics. If you want to access this demo account, then check out the description below. We're going to have the link for you to access this. And we want to take a look today at how we can see our funnels within Google Analytics. And I want to introduce you to three different methods. Let's take a look at the first method, which is the funnel visualization. So if you go down here under the conversion reports, we have our goal conversions and we have our funnel visualization. This is the most common known funnel visualization in Google Analytics. So what can we see here? We see our funnel steps and how many users went through these steps. When I say users, that's not actually correct because this whole funnel visualization is built on page views and sessions. And therefore, if a user went through this funnel multiple times, he will be counted as well multiple times. Pretty nicely here, we can see how many people entered the funnel and at the exact step exited as well, and as well where they went. But here are the downsides. This is all based on page use. So your funnel needs to have certain steps that you define and certain page use that you define that your user goes through. If your funnel doesn't have these steps, then you're out of luck, at least with this visualization. How can you define these steps? Well, if you go into the admin section here, we can define our goals and you would define these steps in your goals. So for example, here we have purchase completed. And if you go to the goal details, we can see how this is configured. And we can also define the steps here that the user needs to go through. Now, again, this is all based on page views and you can't really define it on events or any other data type within Google Analytics. So up here we see the goal type destination and our match type regular expression and the actual page that is the last funnel step. Now the match type is very important because it will also transfer over to the actual funnel steps that we have here. So if you choose something different than regular expressions, you need to be aware that this will also transfer to this funnel steps. Now I would always recommend to use regular expressions because it gives you certain granularity that you can match up against the actual pages that the user goes through. So if anything is added to the actual URL, like a query string, then you might run into trouble with other matching options such as equals to. So I recommend to get familiar with regular expressions. We have a, another video that you can check out, which will introduce you to regular expressions a bit. Now let's go back to our funnel visualization report. And we can see the steps model that we have configured in our goal configurations. Now, my opinion is that this is a great way to visualize an e-commerce shop, especially with distinct pages that the user needs to go through, but it falls short in many different ways when it comes to analysis. Because this funnel is based on page use, we are not able to pick up any interactions or any other data types that we send into Google Analytics. So if you have a one page checkout, for example, which are pretty common nowadays, this might be hard to recreate within Google Analytics. There are ways around this with virtual page views, but all in all, it's really not that flexible. And I would recommend to go with another method of visualizing your funnel. What else is out there? Well, we also have the new ability to build enhanced e-commerce tracking into our website, which will give us new funnels as well. So if you go here to checkout behavior under the e-commerce reports, we also see a funnel visualization, which is much better because we can segment our funnel, but also build segments of our funnel steps. So for example, if somebody dropped off here, we could build a new e-commerce segment. And with this segment, we could even retarget our customers through AdWords. So really, really flexible. How do you get that data actually into the view? 
This is more complicated because you need to have the enhanced e-commerce tracking correctly installed. It is not a one-click installation via a plugin or through Google Tag Manager. You would need to have an extensive implementation of this feature. So in most cases, I would recommend to get professional help and integrate these new features within Google Analytics. Afterwards, you will have the ability to visualize your funnel of your shop within Google Analytics. And you also have the ability to look at this shopping behavior report, which is also a funnel report, which will let you visualize how many people viewed your product, added them to the basket and checked out. So for e-commerce shops, this is really great. Now, there's also a way to use this for non-e-commerce shops. We already discussed this in another video where we looked at this funnel reports and how to build them in with Google Tag Manager. And if you are not restricted by the e-commerce label here, you can actually customize the funnel steps and name them whatever you want. This is something that you can do in the admin section under e-commerce settings. And here you can rename your funnel steps. So another way to view your funnel in Google Analytics. The last way I want to introduce you to a funnel that needs a little bit of setup, but is totally doable through Google Analytics alone. And this is all described in this little post by Lunametrics. It's a little bit older, but still valid. And what they propose is to build a horizontal funnel that will let you view your goals in a custom report. You would need to do a little bit of goal setup. So you need to set up your goals correctly. But in the end, you would have a funnel report that looks a little bit like this. Where you would be able to change around your segmentation, but also see how many people went through each step. Now, this is a little bit misleading because I wasn't able to configure this correctly in this demo shop. But if you want to be flexible with the actual goals that you set up and the funnel steps, then this is really a great way to build another funnel visualization into Google Analytics. And Peter from L3 Analytics has also extended this a bit with the help of the new introduced calculated metrics. You can even calculate metrics such as conversion rates from step to step with the help of this feature of Google Analytics. So all in all, another way to build a funnel visualization and view your funnel within Google Analytics. And that's already it with this week's video of measureschool.com. If you want to find out more about funnels and dig into the horizontal funnel, for example, then check out our description below where we have more resources that you can dig into. As always, if you liked this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel because we will bring you new videos every week. And if you feel really brave, then why not share this video with one of your friends or your colleagues that could find it useful. That would be awesome. My name is Julian. Till next time.